Okay, so today we are looking at the stereo in the 2015-2016 series Class C Sunseekers. Looking at the stereo here on the on the left hand side, we can see the top button is our eject button. Next button down is the SRC, that is the standard stereo, general stereo uh, button from anywhere on the in the system. You can always get back to the main menu by hitting the SRC button. Lastly, you've got a navigation button on the left hand side. And then of course you've got the main on and off dial, the larger on and off switch to manually turn the stereo on and off. Right above the main dial, the main larger dial, you've got a little little button there to little black button to reset, do a hard reset on the stereo if you ever needed to. Say it was hung or not working correctly. You could do a hard reset by just pressing and holding the hard reset located right above right above the stereo the main dial button. In here you've got the inside the door, you've got a little USB and a AV input connection. To turn the stereo on, just press and hold the stereo button. and the computer turns on. From wherever you start at, if you wanted to get back to the to the main menu, you just get back to the main menu by pressing the, the button, the highlighted blue button in the top left hand corner, and that gets you back to your to your main system. From your main system you can swipe For other options. Most importantly, swiping over to hit the disc button. If you ever want to play a DVD, hit the disc option first and then go ahead and put the DVD in. From this settings, the settings button will allow you to do a couple things. You can you can reset the time. If your time was not correct, uh, the sound, you can tinker with that, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Probably the most important thing here really is the volume. These are the core settings for the volume of the DVD player, the radio, and the Bluetooth. And you can go in here and change your radio setting, the core volume from a 6 all the way up to 12, which is the, the maximum. You get out of that screen by just hitting anywhere on the pay on the screen and then hitting your top left hand button to get back to your main menu. If you want to get into navigation, just hit your navigation icon. Navigation starts off with its standard warning to drive safe. You got to accept that. You could do a couple things here. You can put in your destination by just clicking on destination and find address. You can create a new destination or even cancel a destination by going to route options, create a route, or cancel a route. Cancel a route is pretty important. You're going to use cancel a route if a prior renter had their address plugged in and now they're done or maybe they got to where they're supposed to be and you want to cancel out that route so that you can put in a new route or maybe you don't want to use the GPS and you just want to have the, the, the GPS voice stop telling you what to do. Now you would again cancel the route. If you go back to the main screen in our settings a couple of important pages here is the volume button if you want to make the person's voice louder or softer you can adjust the volumes if you go to uh, speed warning settings you can disable or enable when you're speeding the the GPS will tell you when you're out when you're above the speed limit that should always be 
disabled. And you can do it just by clicking the option. If you go back to your main menu again, they've got some other options in here that you can play with if, if necessary. If you're in navigation, you want to get back to the standard stereo screen. You can either you can just click your navigation button again, brings you back to the main stereo. Now you're on your main stereo, and again we use our um, highlighted button, the highlighted blue box in the top left hand corner. I'll show you that again. Blue box in the top left hand corner that's highlighted. Just go ahead and hit it. Get you back to your main options. A couple other things I want to show you here. If you're in this, if you ever wanted to change the fade, get to your stereo, get to your main radio screen, and hit on EQ, and then fade balance, and you can adjust whether it's faded to the front or to the rear of the motorhome. Make your adjustments, and to get out of that screen, hit the box in the top left-hand corner. And that overall are you know, the main key settings or key options for the stereo on the 2015-2016 Sunseekers.